this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what makes Django such a great web development platform. Django has many features that make it an extremely useful and popular framework. The first being that it's fast, but not bloated. What I mean by fast is that it does a great job of cutting the time it takes to make a website down. You can rapidly develop your applications without the framework being bloated. And here's what I mean by bloated. Sometimes when you deal with large frameworks, you'll end up spending weeks or longer figuring out how to deal with idiosyncrasies specific to the framework, particularly those that produce magic or a code that works, but you're not sure why or what it's doing exactly. After a while, you can get so used to this magic that you end up forgetting what makes an actual website work. So you become more of an expert on the framework than anything else. And when you switch frameworks, you're screwed. Django isn't like that. It certainly isn't a thin micro framework. It's very powerful and versatile, and it does have idiosyncrasies, but few and none that really get in the way of the learning. Second thing is that Django takes security seriously and provides tools to help you do the same. As developers, I'm sure we're all aware of the growing trend of cybersecurity breaches. In this day and age, security is crucial, and Django provides a user authentication system and tools to prevent SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, and clickjacking in the name of few. And that's to help you keep your system safe. The third thing that makes Django a great framework is the administration portal that ships with it. It can take so much time to create admin pages that interact with your backend. You need to create the layouts, the user permissions, the database logic. It's a huge and tedious and painful process. And Django ships with it. And not just a part of an admin system, but an entire working admin portal that you can customize to fit your needs. So if you're creating a website that needs an admin backend, meaning you won't only want to use MySQL commands or a shell to manage all the data and would like graphical pages as well, this is going to be a huge time saver. The last thing that makes Django great is that it's completely scalable. Not only is there a handy caching system, but it also uses a shared nothing architecture, which means you can continue to add hardware and it'll take advantage of it. So you don't need to worry about your site getting big and then you get buying more hardware, but then having to port your entire code base to a different framework. You won't need to. You might also be wondering how Django stacks up against other frameworks such as Ruby's Ruby on Rails, Node.js frameworks, or PHP frameworks such as Cake or Codeigniter. Well, a big part of the decision to select a framework for your project is going to be the language that your team wants or needs to use. Ruby on Rails is a great framework that might have a slight popularity edge over Django. It's a bit more popular. However, it's written in Ruby, which is a great web development language, but it doesn't do much else particularly well. You may note that data analysis or big data is becoming a crucial part of a lot of applications, and I'd say Python has a more versatile library and community. Along with being used for web development, Python is also popular in the scientific community, for example. Node, which is written in JavaScript, is another great platform. It's new and has a passionate, albeit smaller, community. If you're super familiar with JavaScript, you might want to take a look. However, if you're not a JavaScript whiz, it may be an uphill battle. Since it's new, it doesn't have near the same resources that a more mature language like Python or Ruby have, so you may have to write or port things that you wouldn't have to in other languages. Node is excellent, though, for applications that make use of its event-driven architecture and non-blocked input-output. So a large chat application, for example, would be an excellent fit. I'm definitely not saying that you couldn't make or integrate chat applications in Python or Ruby, but I would say that Node would be the best fit if you were building one from scratch. So. If you know JavaScript well and want to make use of Node's event-driven architecture, you should take a look. Python's going to be a more versatile language, and Django is a more mature framework than it does on Node. Finally, we have PHP. I'm not a huge fan of PHP, but its strength is that it used to be the king of the web development scene. So it still has a ton of libraries out there, which make integrating with other systems super easy. That being said, unless you know of a specific library that you'll need that you know for a fact Ruby and Python don't have, I personally would stay away from PHP frameworks. Many, including Cake and Codeigniter, are, in my humble opinion, a bit bloated and slow. That's as someone who's had developed Cake and Codeigniter in the past. I can say from personal experience that Django is much, much nicer to code in. So unless you have coding or hiring requirements that will keep you in PHP, i take Django over PHP hands down. Python over PHP. So to recap, Django is fast, secure, scalable, and has a great admin baked in. There are a ton of great frameworks out there to choose from, but Django may be your best bet if you're looking for a mature yet modern framework on a versatile language that can easily do web development along with other data-related tasks that you might need.